Well, the rain has settled in here in Oregon. Typical summer, I guess. But you know, everywhere I look, people are talking about vibe coding. Love or hate it, vibe coding is changing how and who can build apps. New AI tools are an amazing productivity boost, but what separates the pros and the hobbyists though is the knowledge. The more you know about the tech stack you want to use, what the popular frameworks and platforms other people in your space are using, and how you want the app to be structured, the better your results, especially when it comes to long-term maintenance. Now we've heard some of those horror stories about vibe coding, but it's still too early and the more knowledge you know, the better. In this video, I'm going to share my go-to Python libraries for vibe coding data engineering tasks. Data engineering tasks often fall into five categories. Ingestion, transformation and orchestration, cleansing, validation, and movement. Now there are a lot of tools and platforms that you can choose from, each with benefits and negatives. In this video, I'm gonna focus on Python libraries that are my go-to for each category. Now some of these libraries are provided by popular platforms like Airbyte, Databricks, and Snowflake. But the key criteria in this list is, can I build or manage my pipeline directly in code? Let's start with ingestion. Now I work for Airbyte, so it's no surprise that I think Airbyte is the choice for ingestion. With over 600 connectors, it makes it very easy for you to grab the source that you need and the data that you need to pull in. Now you can use the cloud or the open source project, but what I wanna really focus on is a Python library that we call PyAirbyte. PyAirbyte provides all of that power that you expect with inside Airbyte Cloud and Airbyte Open Source Project, puts it directly inside your Python project with very few dependencies, makes it really easy to get up and running. Here's a quick example of how you can do that. All you have to do is import a single library, choose the source that you want out of our connector catalog. In this instance, I'm just using a basic Faker source, but that could be Databricks, Snowflake, Salesforce, any of the 600 plus that we have. Set up my configuration requirements, that may be authentication or parameters, make sure everything's working, set the stream, read, and return the results into a data frame. Super easy, very simple, ingestion for me is Airbyte. Now Prefect is my go-to for code level transformation and orchestration. I find it really powerful that I can create a task and do the transformation and wrap it into a flow with retry logic that I know if that transformation fails, the error isn't going to trickle down through the rest of my pipeline. And as an added bonus, if you currently rely on something like dbt for transformation, there's very easy, clean integration here without too many dependencies. Now, if I just wanted to choose orchestration, I might use something like Temporal. They have a really robust SDK and a very good deterministic workflow for more complex orchestration needs. You really can't go wrong with Prefect or Temporal here. But I would give Prefect that slight edge when working with dbt though, is it just feels a little more, more seamless, which is why I choose Prefect for this category. Extending on my example before, where I was returning information from Airbyte into a data frame, now if I'm using Prefect, I can define tasks and flows that make it even easier for me to manage that code. I can manage errors and exceptions very quickly if I have any data analysis, I can put that in a separate task and manage it independently as well. So Prefect is great for this, a really good choice for you. Now, when it comes to data cleansing, you can get as complex as you want, but for many of my needs, it's hard to go past pandas. For example, if I'm pulling in that data that I showed you before from, from Airbyte and ingesting it, I can cleanse that data very easily using pandas. I can write logic to handle missing values, remove duplicates, convert data types, etc. Of course, there's a lot more to cleansing. And when you need to ensure things like governance and audit tracking, pandas alone may not have you covered, but it's still my favorite library for performing a lot of the data cleansing that I need. You really can't go wrong. Start with pandas, try it. It's a staple for every Python developer. If you don't know it, learn it. It'll do you good for the long run. For validation, I could easily use pandas for that data validation. It's effectively what I was doing in the sample before. And to be honest, I often do. However, at some point you start writing a lot of that validation logic and code yourself. These validation rules may change quickly and become kind of really a nightmare to maintain. This is where great expectations really comes in. This is my choice for validation inside code. 
As you can see in my code sample here, instead of embedding the logic separately in code, I can create a suite of what they call expectations, where I can say the column values could not be null, or I may have something that needs to be between a certain values. I can set these up in a suite of expectations or rules, and then apply them to all my data directly from a data frame or a panda. Great way of making and keeping my code clean, manageable, but still in a Pythonic way that I can use it directly with inside my application. Great expectations is my choice for validation inside code. If you want to keep a purely Pythonic approach, Pandas still takes top spot for me in terms of simple data movement, especially if you're working with major data warehouses such as Snowflake and Databricks. Pandas and Snowflake work together great. They provide inbuilt tools and availability that if you're writing data, making it super easy. What I have found though, if you want flexibility and choice beyond some of those big data providers, PyAirbyte is still my choice. Again, as I mentioned before, with the hundreds of connectors, it makes it very, very easy to choose the source and destination that you want to move that data. And with a few lines of code, move the data with reliability and know that it's actually going to go through. So the choice is really yours here on data movement, how complex your data actually becomes. I generally lean towards PyAirbyte because I know the platform and I know that I can choose any provider and source and destination connector that's out there. Pandas, fantastic example if you're using something like say Streamlit and Snowflake, pull it all together very simply and easily. But for me, I'd say Pandas and PyAirbyte, top choices, you can't go wrong with either. That's a wrap of five of my favorite Python libraries for data engineering. Hope they help you out. Links are down below if you want to try them out yourself. But for now, time to shut down the laptop, listen to some tunes, and just chill out for the rest of the day. See you on the next one.